Um, oh, I got to call out fucking Michael Rappaport, okay? Okay, and you know, you would think that I'm going to call him out for the fact that his resting face. You ever heard of resting bitch face? You know what his face looks like? It looks like, you remember that face Danny Ainge would make after he got called for a foul? That's what his resting face looks like. All right? Now, I love this man, except when he talks sports. I've never seen somebody hate on Boston sports the way he does, right? So he wrote some more bullshit about Boston sports. So I call him up, breaking his balls, going, dude, you know what you wrote isn't true. Laughing. We have a great fucking time. He goes on the internet like some real housewife whore. Whoa. Right? And you know what he said? He said, wow, Bill Burgess called me up, like, uh, uh, threatening me. Blah, blah, blah. And all this fucking... He's out, He's tweeting like some Instagram whore that's just trying to get fucking followers. I don't understand it, Michael. If somebody send you into this clip right now. I even told him how fucking bitchy he was being about Boston sports. Like he, I guess he was freaking out that, uh, that the Celtics might get Kevin Durant. I did, in fact, to confirm Michael Rappaport's Real Housewife tweet. By the way, is there anyone, can somebody please Photoshop him into one of those Real Housewife fucking things? We had a great conversation, laughing our balls off, and we came to an agreement in the end of it. And that Danny Ainge-looking motherfucker goes on the internet, and he, he tweets 180 letters or less about me. By the way, I have to apologize for, uh, I love Michael Rappaport. I, you know, every time I see him, I always feel like this is the last time I'm ever going to see him. You know, there's just something about him. Even though he's younger than me, he just moves around like he's in his 80s. I think he has that disease. You know that disease Brad Pitt had in that movie where he was like a fucking old baby? Whatever the fuck happened. I don't know. That's what he, he reminded. No, was, that was just a fable, right? What was it called? A fairy tale. Whatever. He fucking, he's like that, you know, you know, like when a fucking eight-year-old looks like they're 70, whatever that disease is called. Um, I was going to say George Mikan. That's not, that wasn't the guy. Who was the guy who played on Ohio State? Who went to Portland, that poor bastard. The micro fractures in his feet. I think he's playing in China now. Oh, I can't remember. All I'm thinking is Haven Moses, and I know he played for the Broncos in the 70s. I want to say his name was George, wasn't it? Okay, we got to look this up now. Ohio State, Ohio. Ohio State, uh, Portland. Micro fracture, mic, not micro brewery. Get the fuck out of here. Micro micro breweries are the worst, really. All right, what's his name? What's his name? Greg Oden. Michael Rappaport has Greg Oden disease. <laughs> <laughs> he does, and like Greg Oden, he got paid a ton of fucking money, and he didn't follow through. He got paid the 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 uh, national. Uh, podcasting Association drafted him number one to come on to, into the podcasting world to talk about sports, thinking that he was going to be unfair. No, thinking that he was going to be biased and fair. I can't even fucking talk this morning. Oh, my God. I can't wait to do his podcast again. You know? Who's kidding? Who were both a couple of real housewives? You know what I mean? I think I'm slightly better looking than him, though. Slightly. You know? And a little more mobile. You know, I think I bring a lot more to a team. I'm like Spike Owen, right? Utility player. Him, I don't know what he is. He's like a fucking, Rappaport's like a fucking, you know, he's like that DH, you know, his career's over. You know, he can't touch his toes, so they can't have him play first base. He just sits on the bench eating sunflower seeds. Gets up three, four times a game, squinting into the fucking sun. He just swings through the fences. Grounds out into a double play, kills the rally, you know, but he's got such a big contract, they can't get rid of him. <laughs> he's like Greg Luzinski if he went on a diet. Although, no, no disrespect to Greg Luzinski. All right, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about here.